Hey everybody, I hope you're surviving the cold today. It is so cold outside. I think it's about minus 45 degrees Celsius today, which is crazy cold. This time last year I was traveling and it was a full 90 degrees warmer where I was. I am hating my life right now. So yeah, I am hibernating today and I thought I would do a super quick video on my ColourPop cosmetics little like a little little haul that um, I got right before Christmas um, every Christmas I order a bunch of these cosmetics mainly as stocking stuffers for my sister my sisters but this year I got a few colors that I am really loving so um, yeah I just wanted to just do a quick swatch of the lippy sticks that I got. Um, this one being Pitch, which is a really nice, um, like, coffee brown color. And uh, the other one is Bichette, which is a super beautiful, deep, kind of red wine color. I've been wearing this one a lot. So I just wanted to show you guys what they looked like on. And I also got two eyeshadows um, that I've been wearing on repeat. This one being uh, Game Fight Face, which is a very copper color. <clears throat> and this one is Plaid. A funny name for this color because it's a very deep black green so I don't know if you can tell but I am wearing um, game face all over the crease of my eyelids and plaid just in the corners and I topped it off with a Stila um, the Stila liquid liner that I really like trying to do a cat eye here so yeah without further ado let's get to the swatches of the lippy sticks that I'm really enjoying so <clears throat> Just before I get to that, I'm really loving ColourPop cosmetics mainly because they're so inexpensive and the quality is top notch. It's they're awesome. So these lippy sticks are these particular ones are very matte. They go on super matte for that really awesome look that's popular right now. There's no shine whatsoever. But I don't find them really drying like other matte options that are out on the market today. I still use them with my MAC Prep and Prime. It's like a lip balm. It's a lip primer. And uh, I use this under all of my matte lipsticks because it doesn't dry out. It causes, like it's a very white, clear like a lip balm, but it's a lip primer for your lips. And when I use it, I find that, especially under matte lipsticks, my lips don't dry out. But you don't really need this for the ColourPop lippy sticks because these ones are, they, they're really good. They don't dry out my lips whatsoever. So yeah, I'm loving these because they're $5 US a pop, which translates to about $8 Canadian. Our Canadian dollar is in the toilet right now. The currency exchange is so bad, but at $8 each for these, that's awesome. I bought a few um, MAC matte lipsticks, and those are like $17, $18 Canadian each, so this is such a nice option. So I highly recommend them right off the bat. I'm giving these an A+. Plus after using them. I've been using them now for two months. They are awesome. A plus. So let's get on to the swatches. See you in a bit. Okay, so to start off, I will be trying Pitch. And like I said, it is a very dark brown chocolate, dark chocolate color. Um, I don't wear colors like this too often because, um, I don't know, I really like my nude shades. I'm not a huge like I don't go out with a full face of makeup very often and when I go out to events or on dates <laughs> with my hubby, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put on a lot of makeup. But for the, for the most part, I don't always gravitate towards colors like this. Uh, in the summer, I'm about 10 shades darker than what I am right now and I find when I wear dark chocolate colors, it just makes me look like I have no lips or makes me look like it looks muddy, but this uh, for my winter skin tone I think is really cool, really fresh and modern looking. So this is how it looks on. I'll just put it on quickly for you. 
As you can see, I am not wearing a lip liner. But I'm really liking this. I think it's a really cool, sort of fresh look and it's a very neutral color so you can get away with wearing it with a lot of different looks and I think it's quite neutral. Um, sorry, I have a lot of light filtering into our bedroom right now so I promise you this is a very very matte shade. There is no shine to it but I'm thinking that the uh, natural light coming in is making it look a whole lot glossier than it actually is. But this is what it looks like on, on my skin tone, and I think it's really cool and lovely. For $5 US, this is great. Um, for those of you who are sensitive to scents, it smells very lightly of vanilla. I don't think it would bother anyone. Um, yeah, it is really, really nice. So again, this is the pitch color. Mwah. I am loving it. Absolutely. I wear it a lot and I think it looks really good with this sort of khaki cocoa colored dress that I'm wearing. I, I like it. It's a good one. Get it. Alright, next up is Bichette. That is the um, awesome dark dark red color. This is gorgeous for Valentine's Day. I'm going to be wearing it when I go out to dinner with the hubby later. Um, it is such a beautiful, deep, dark, fabulous red. I think that while it's dark, it would be flattering on anybody from the Snow White to the Deep Chocolate Girls. Um, it's a lovely, lovely color. So again, this is Bichette and I will put it on so you guys can see what it looks like. Again, I'm not wearing any lip liner. Uh, I don't think, I don't use lip liner too much because my lips are so defined naturally as it is. But if any of you have any feathering problems, any lip liner, any red lip liner would be great. But here it is. This is Bichette, deep dark red. I love it. On me, I find it really pops. It's a, like a bright, gorgeous, Valentine's Day red. I have a super red dress which is the same color. I'm going to be wearing that tonight when we go out for dinner. And um, I've been wearing this a lot with all black outfits. I wear it with a pink outfit. I, I love it. Again, it's got a really pleasant vanilla smell. It looks a little glossier than it is. This is a full-on matte color though and it's really long lasting. Both of these, the Pitch and the Bichette, these last me for hours. I don't have to reapply too much. Um, I think this is a cool red tone. This will look good on a lot of people. It's not warm or orangey at all. And yeah, for $5 US, about $8 Canadian, this is a steal. This is uh, ColourPop. You guys are just killing it. It's, I am loving it. So, yeah, this is my Valentine's Day pick that I'll be wearing later tonight. I'll get some kisses for sure with this. So yeah, um, I give both of these and the eyeshadows a big thumbs up. I am loving ColourPop. So uh, that is it for my quick review of these colors. I'm going to go get on the computer and order a bunch more. The uh, Karuchi collection is out on ColourPop's website right now. So it has a lot of beautiful, neutral, pinky, beige tones that that Karuchi girl is known for wearing. So yeah, go check it out. Don't forget to like my video, give it the big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Check me out also on Instagram and Twitter at Style Domination. And check out my blog. Feel free to read about a whole bunch more makeup reviews and articles on beauty and fashion and you can find me at styledomination.com. So happy Valentine's Day guys. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Stay warm if you're in Canada because it's so freaking cold outside and I will see you next time. Have a great weekend. Bye!